Media Art and Science of the School of Fundamental Science and Technology. His research interests are mainly in theory of self-organization, development, evolution, and emergence, and also in experimental studies regarding ethology and cognitive science. And his talk today will be about entangled consciousness. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, my talk is uh, entitled by uh, entangled consciousness, but uh, strictly speaking. Uh, the content of my talk is uh, consciousness as entanglement. Uh, first of all, we summarize uh, my talk. Uh, the significance of free will and consciousness has been shaken because post diction and uh, brain computer analogy can yield uh, inconsistency uh, between determinism and free will. Uh, we here provide a solution for this problem by using the two lemma consisting of uh, free will, determinism, and locality. We show that the theorem found in the free will theorem was origin, uh, originally proposed in analytical philosophy, philosopher Michael Dummett, and that the theorem is also found in the brain. We show that theorem can provide three types of consciousness. In the typical consciousness, free will coexists uh, with determinism in the form of logical entanglement. Now, in various fields, uh, the, the notion of free will is taken. In the physics, uh, according to Hawking and Murdo, uh, it is hard to imagine how free will can operate if our behavior is de uh, determined by a physical rule. So it seems that we are no more than biological machines and that free will is just an illusion. And in computer science, uh, Royd argues uh, there is no way to determine beforehand just which uh, decisions are predictable and which are not. Uh, it suggests the existence of free will because of unpredictability. And in cognitive science and brain science, uh, Shimojo uh, argues that the SOA, that is the sense of agency, and that is appearing to uh, intentional move to uh, his own body, which is the basis of free will, may be considered a sort of authentic illusion, which may be hardly evaporated uh, merely by reductionist neural uh, account for it. And now, the, this uh, uh, shaking is uh, caused by the post-dictive uh, phenomena. Levit conducted uh, the very, uh, very famous uh, post uh, experiment to reveal a post uh, and post phenomenon. A subject uh, uh, asked to move uh, his own finger around, uh, but <coughs> but the uh, action of uh, uh, promoter uh, um, uh, no, yeah. redness potential uh, precedes uh, his own uh, voluntary action. This, uh, this the internal consciousness, intentional consciousness, that is what is called myself in the brain, uh, believes his, <coughs> he, uh, his intention uh, controls the motor uh, phenomenon. But uh, unconsciousness or readiness potential in the brain, uh, that is, uh, others in the brain, uh, precedes uh, the actual intentional consciousness. That is a post diction uh, phenomenon. And as for the uh, true lemma consisting of free world determinism and locality, and uh, Conway and Co uh, Cohen yeah, proposed the free will theorem, and uh, Resnikov uh, generalizes the essence of the free will theorem in the logical sense, and me uh, also uh, argues the true lemma uh, consists of free will and determinism and locality. And actually, in the free will theorem, locality is abundant. Uh, because of the uh, quantum theory, and then determinism and free will uh, coexist. And as the same theorem was argued by uh, first school, uh, 
another girl philosopher, Michael Dummett, 1978. <coughs> and uh, in Dummett's book, uh, the famous book, The Truth and the Other Enigma, uh, the dilemma is argued in the following. There is a village, and in the village, a uh, young man uh, have to show their own be uh, brave, braveness to become a social adult. Uh, for, two, for two days trip, a uh, young man uh, go to the area of lion hunting. After that, uh, lion hunting uh, continue for two days. And after that, uh, they return to the village for two days. Therefore, it takes uh, totally six days. And as soon as the young man uh, leave in the village, the chief in the village uh, began to dance for the success of lion hunting. Not for four days, but uh, for six days. And the dammit asks us, is it possible to argue for the chief because his last two days of dancing is done after the lion hunting and is nonsense? At first, uh, Damod argued uh, regarding fatalism, st uh, stating that the person's future is already determined. And the fatalist, the argument of fatalist is the following. You will be either killed by, for example, a bomb or not. And two, if your death is already determined, protecting yourself against death makes no sense. And three, if it is determined that you will live, then protecting yourself against death is redundant. Four, that is why protecting yourself is irrational. And Damod criticizes the fatalist uh, with the following argument. A fatalist shifts from the statement you will not die to the statement if you do not protect yourself against death, you will not die. But Damod says, However, these statements uh, are not mutually relevant. If you are sure uh, you will not die, the reason why you, are, you will not die uh, still remains. Therefore, uh, when you do not protect yourself against this, you will, that is uh, one possibility uh, to reach the goal, you will not die. But there are another multiple uh, possibility. For example, uh, you, uh, you create some uh, protection uh, against this. Uh, because of this uh, protection, special protection, you will not die. That is another uh, protection. Then, uh, for this, uh, another protection, the statement, if you do not protect yourself against your death, you will die, uh, coexist with the previous statements. Therefore, thus, not protecting yourself against your death proves that you will both die and not die. That is inconsistent. Therefore, uh, Damat uh, Damat argue the fatalism, the fatalism is corrupt. And there is a symmetric structure uh, between the relationship between uh, fatalist and us and the relationship between us and the dancing chief. Uh, fatalist who believes uh, future cannot be changed and we believe the future can be changed, and we succeed in criticizing uh, the fatalists. If so, the structure is symmetrical. We uh, believe the past it can be changed, and the dancing chief uh, who believe the uh, past can be changed, then uh, the chief can succeed to criticize us. And uh, finally, uh, Michael Dammit argues, uh, um, by the same reason, uh, we, can, uh, we cannot argue uh, the ch dancing chief. Thus, the free will determinism and locality constitute a trilemma. Assume that determinism and locality holds. If the hand succeeded, then the chief must dance even if he does not want to do so. Similarly, if the hand fell, then the chief must not dance even if uh, he wants to do so. There is no uh, free will in this situation. Inversely, assume that free will hold whether the chief decides to dance or not, independent of the hunt's results. Determinism does not hold. Thus, free will, determinism, and locality can constitute a trilemma. 
And this uh, scheme, the determinism implies that dancing can control the success, uh, whether the success or failure of the lion, lion hunting. And free will implies uh, the chief can uh, begin to dance or stop dancing uh, as he likes it. And locality implies, uh, impri uh, implies that the uh, chief uh, can know uh, the, the failure or success of lion hunting uh, without uh, affecting uh, the affecting the uh, hunting hunting uh, hunting young man uh, when uh, he began to dance. And we summarize uh, the chief's stance and the damage stance uh, like this. Uh, here, the element of the uh, true lemma, uh, determinism of free will or locality, if it is abandoned, uh, the, uh, the word of the uh, element is uh, written by uh, lead words. <coughs> Therefore, the chief stance or locality is um, abandoned, and damage of uh, our uh, uh, rational stance, uh, determinism is abandoned here. And uh, finally, uh, damage says, uh, chief stance coexists with uh, our damage stance. The difference of the stance is uh, result, uh, results from the difference of the culture. Therefore, uh, we uh, cannot uh, argue the chief stance. And now, uh, the dancing chief, uh, dancing chief uh, can be found in the brain by uh, replacing the dancing chief. Uh, uh, by individual consciousness and lion hunting uh, is replaced by others in the brain or latent potential, subconsciousness and unconsciousness, uh, respectively. Yeah, therefore, it is easy to find uh, the, there are some uh, isomorphic structure between dancing chief and uh, uh, brain and uh, individual consciousness in the brain. And the next question arises, how can the combination of three items uh, create the structure of consciousness of a cell? We if, uh, propose a specific rule in which the three, uh, three items, locality, determinism, free will, are all uh, defined. This is a very simple rule. Uh, for first, uh, we uh, define the role of the locality. If locality is present, uh, present the boundary uh, is easy. Uh, the boundary of the uh, component of the uh, consciousness is either explicit or implicit. If locality is absent, the boundary is intermediate. And the second rule, in our model of self, uh, there are two boundaries: the inner boundary, that is the margin of myself, uh, that is the uh, myself is uh, intentional consciousness, and the outer boundary, and that is margin of self, and the self uh, consists of uh, intentional consciousness and uh, others in the brain or latent potential uh, subconsciousness or something like that. And free will uh, contributes only to the inner boundary, and the determinism contributes only to the outer boundaries. There are little uh, simple two rules. And uh, from rule one and two, one can classify three kinds of consciousness. Type one, because of the loss of uh, free will, uh, but the locality is uh, present. So uh, the one uh, boundary is explicit and the other boundary is implicit. Then uh, free will is, because the free will is absent, uh, the inner boundary is implicit and the outer boundary is explicit. Or that is a type one consciousness. And type two consciousness, uh, determinism is lost. Therefore, um, but the locality is present. Therefore, the uh, relationship be between the inner boundary and the outer boundary is reversed into the type one consciousness. And type three consciousness, because of the loss of locality, and both uh, boundaries are uh, intermediate. Now we uh, describe the detail of the type one consciousness, so in type two and type three. Type of consciousness is something like that. Because of the loss of free will, uh, the internal consciousness is uh, integrated with uh, other area of the uh, brain, others in the brain or subconsciousness or something like that. Therefore, uh, it can constitute the explicit uh, bound, outer boundaries itself. Then uh, there is no uh, other, uh, no others in the brain, explicit others in the brain. Uh, and the uh, actual others is 
they are completely separated from uh, cell. Uh, this kind of consciousness is uh, consistent with the traits of ASD, uh, autistic, uh, autism syndrome disease uh, disorder. And type 2 consciousness, uh, because of the uh, presence of free will and locality, uh, the inner boundary of the, of the margin of the bar, myself is, uh, must be uh, explicit. Therefore, uh, we can see other people uh, with this uh, type 2 consciousness can see otherness, others in uh, self, uh, because the others in the brain uh, is separated from uh, myself in the self. And actually, the actual others is uh, fused with self, uh, something like that. This is uh, consistent with the traits of uh, suffering people. And type 3 consciousness, uh, the both uh, inner and the outer margins, uh, outer boundaries, uh, are intermediate. And uh, as a result, uh, the individual consciousness and uh, others in the brain can uh, be entangled with each other. And now we summarize uh, like this: the boundary of the inner boundary, uh, inner boundary, and the uh, outer boundary is classified into separation, fusion, or entanglement, or something like that. And type one consciousness, uh, inner boundary uh, is implicit; therefore, the internal consciousness is fused with other uh, in the brain, and the actual others is separated from uh, self. Therefore, it is consistent with the traits of uh, autism syndrome uh, uh, disorder, a weakened serial man, and a weakened uh, central coherence. And the second type 2 co uh, uh, consciousness is uh, consistent with the traits of the uh, schizophrenia, schizophrenia. And uh, because uh, others, others can be seen in myself, uh, therefore, uh, it, can, it is consistent with the thought insertion or auditory harshation. And actual others is uh, fused with the self, uh, that is uh, consistent with the traits of the schizophrenia, self other integration. And type three uh, consciousness is uh, consistent with the consciousness of typical people, because others in the brain is uh, Entangled with intentional consciousness. That can, uh, as we talk we, uh, later, uh, that is the key uh, idea to uh, emergence of the self or SOC, SO, uh, sense of agency or uh, consciousness of free will. Now, we expand this idea by using a simple logical structure. We assume that the human being has a cognitive system based on the relation between objects in the world and the representation <coughs> in the brain. A relation is expressed as a symmetric combination of objects and representation. And yeah, th this is an example. And the representation uh, consists of insect, vegetable, green, and red, and objects, uh, uh, red uh, dragonfly, cucumber, uh, red hot chili, pep, uh, chili and uh, green, uh, green grasshopper. The grasshopper, because it is insect and, uh, and green, therefore the, the, uh, the relation uh, between insect and grasshopper and green and the grasshopper is uh, painted blue. A blue square represents the presence of the uh, relation, and the blank uh, represents the absence of the relation. And here uh, we assume uh, there, are sub, uh, there are some uh, subdomains, the relationship is divided into subdomains. Uh, for example, the nature, color, and the natural objects, and the color thing. Because uh, this assumption implies the people with this uh, relation uh, consider the dragonfly and the cucumber as uh, uh, typical objects, natural objects, and uh, uh, insects, and uh, vegetables, or something like that. But uh, as for the people, uh, for, with this relation, grasshopper is not insect, and that is just uh, a green things and a red whole chip, a red uh, chili is just another vegetable is just a uh, red thing. Therefore, uh, the uh, the representation uh, the relationship is uh, divided into subdomains, something like that. And now we come back to the free will determinism and the locality. 
the, in the uh, bubble of the, of the relation, the uh, free will is defined by the selectability of the multiple subdomains. Therefore, the presence of free will is defined by the multiple subdomains, and uh, by contrast, absence of uh, free will is uh, defined no selectability or unique uh, subdomain. And determinism is uh, defined by the, uh, the, presence of the presence of the determinism is one-to-one -one relation uh, uh, in each uh, subdomain or, or subdomain. And the uh, absence of subdomain, I want to many type uh, relation in each subdomain. The, that is an uh, excess case. Uh, the, any other, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, the many uh, relations uh, can be found in, the, in, in each subdomain. And the presence of locality is uh, defined by no crossing the border of the subdomains, and absence of the locality is defined by the crossing the border of the subdomains. Therefore, the presence of subdomain uh, outside of the subdomain, there is no relation. By contrast, absence of uh, locality uh, outside the subdomains, there is a relation, of, uh, there is a relation uh, something like that. And now, the combination of the absence of uh, presence of free will, determinism, and locality, uh, we can uh, obtain a type one consciousness as uh, uh, relations, uh, relation uh, between uh, representations and uh, objects uh, like this. And type two consciousness uh, is something like this. And type three consciousness, uh, typical people, uh, consistent with typical people, or uh, something like this. And previously, uh, we uh, defined the uh, lapsus gratis uh, from a, a given in a binary relation between representation and the ab uh, object. Uh, we define the two kinds of uh, operation, F and G. F is uh, operation from representations to objects. And uh, for a, a set of objects, uh, X, uh, Fx is a collection of objects uh, which has a relation to some elements in X. And for uh, objects, uh, the set of uh, objects, Y, Fy is a collection of re representation uh, whose related objects are included by uh, Y. And uh, we uh, calculate Gfx uh, for all uh, subsets of representation like this. And uh, only black sequence uh, represents as uh, a fixed point uh, GFX equal X with respect to the composition of G and, G and F. And the collection of, uh, uh, collection of uh, fixed point of this uh, composition can constitute a, a lattice. That is a, a partial order set of, uh, closed with respect to uh, special binary operation uh, meet and uh, join. And actually, as a rhapsody lattice uh, implies something like that, and in a virtual world, uh, two kind of interpretations, uh, one and two, and uh, uh, between the, uh, we can obtain a binary relation uh, between two partition, two kind of partitions, something like that, and a mixture of two interpretations can constitute no Boolean lattice. And if uh, interpretation, there is only one interpretation, any single interpretation can lead only to Boolean algebra, uh, classical logic. And now there are uh, any other uh, examples. As, uh, if the matrix relation is represented by a diagonal matrix, we always obtain a uh, Boolean lattice. And if uh, the reverse uh, diagonal matrix uh, in the, in the uh, right hand, we can obtain the uh, uh, correction of uh, atoms uh, which are uh, independently separate with each other, intersected by uh, the least and the greatest element. And now we back to return uh, back to the uh, type one consciousness, type two, con type two, and type three consciousness. Type one consciousness uh, represents uh, Boolean lattice, uh, independent of the number of the row and uh, uh, Row and columns, and uh, type two consciousness uh, implies the product of MK lattices, 
in each uh, subdomain uh, implies MK lattice. MK lattice implies uh, uh, collection of uh, atoms independently separated with each other, uh, intersected by least and uh, greatest element. And the MK's K uh, implies the number of atoms, something like that. And they can constitute all combination, the products of the MK lattice. And uh, type three uh, consensus uh, implies uh, almost disjoint union of Boolean lattices. Uh, therefore, each uh, subdomain implies uh, Boolean lattice, but uh, there are some correlation uh, in a whole lattice. Now, given the direct, uh, a binary relation, uh, we can decompose, uh, decompose uh, the, to the direct sum of the relation, something like that. <laughs> and uh, from the direct sum uh, of the relation, we can uh, calculate the product of lattices, uh, something like that. Now we turn back to the uh, type two consciousness and type three consciousness. And the type two, uh, type uh, two consciousness, uh, as mentioned before, is uh, each uh, subdomain is represented by MK lattices, and the whole lattices uh, can be represented by a product uh, of MK lattices. Here, uh, the each subdomain is represented by M4 and M3, therefore the whole lattice is uh, expressed by the product of M4 and M3 lattices. And, uh, and uh, yeah, the type three consensus, each uh, subdomain implies a Boolean lattices. And the whole uh, lattices uh, is not a product of the lattices, but the almost disjoint union uh, proposed by Professor Carl Spotzer, oh, that is also more than like this. The type one uh, consensus uh, is, uh, yeah, I mentioned that is consistent with uh, autism, autism syndrome uh, dis disorder, and that is a unique objective logic, the Boolean algebra, and no other mind is not contained. Therefore, the people with a type one consensus cannot imagine others mind. And distributivity or distributive law Holds, and there is no correlation, no intentionality. Thus, uh, the people with type 1 consciousness cannot consider a uh, dependent context. Therefore, it is consistent with uh, traits of uh, type 1 uh, autism syndrome, uh, syndrome disorder, a weakened theory of mind. <coughs> and type 2 consciousness, uh, that is the consistent with the traits of schizophrenia, is <coughs> subdomain correspond to a correction of independent uh, elements. Each is a collection of atoms and a distribu distributivity uh, collapse uh, that implies uh, weak intentionality. Therefore, the people with uh, type 2 consciousness can imagine uh, others minds. The products of some uh, that is, uh, products of subdomains, no, uh, that implies no entanglement. Therefore, they can only just a uh, prediction, but not uh, anticipation. And this is consistent with uh, traits of the uh, type two consensus proposed by Van der Feyden. And type three, a typical people's uh, consensus, the, it consists of multiple subdomains, uh, for example, myself, <coughs> intentional consensus, and others in the brain, or latent potential, or something like that. And it constitutes not products, but almost distant union. While intentional consensus is discriminated from latent potential, they are integrated with each other. That is here I call the logical entanglement. And the logical entanglement can reveal ambiguity of subdomains, discrimination of subdomains, and strong correlation between them. And that could be only way to achieve a self-consciousness carrying free will and a, con a sense of agency in their own body. Also, intentional consciousness separate from latent potentials is possibly made to intend something by latent potential. This is guaranteed by discrimination. Intentional consciousness can take over positivity uh, to motor common. That is guaranteed by correlation. Therefore, subjectivity uh, or the consciousness with uh, free will can be emerged from this uh, taking over uh, the po positivity. Uh, conclusion. The true issue of free will in uh, post-diction is not inverse causation from future to the past, but in the context without the causality. 
When the chief and the lion hunt in Dama's arguments are replaced by intentional consciousness and latent potential, respectively, and isomorphism is easily seen between the situation of the chief and the intentional consciousness. In defining the specific rule corresponding to the elements of trilemma of free will, determinism, and locality, we have the three types of consciousness corresponding to the people with ASD type 1 and uh, to, the, uh, to one with schizophrenia type 2 and to the type, uh, typical people uh, type 3. And type 3 consciousness resulting from uh, loss of locality can be expressed as an almost disjoint union of Boolean algebra and that is implementation of logical entanglement. Yeah, that is, thank you so much. Thank you for <laughs>